action. I call it restless spirit. And I've seen a lot of people who are just restless. Welcome to today's ZDRX. We've been looking at symptoms and signs of causes. So today we also have in the studio, uh, Fee. Welcome, Fee. What is your question? So I wanted to ask mental problems. Would you really be able to say that it's a symptom of causes? It may be. Uh, I know mental problem is on the rise, even because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But we need to know that causes consume everything that they encounter. When a cause is in operation, it consumes the mind, the thought, education, effort of the person under the cause. So it is consuming, dominating, and merciless in its very so, nature. Madness, insanity, confusion, especially if there's a history of this in the family. In Deuteronomy 28, 28, the Bible says, the Lord will strike you with madness. It's in the Bible. <laughs> and blindness and confusion of art. So double-mindedness and mental instability. It can also be recurrent abuse, physical, sexual, verbal. And we also have vagabonds, people who just wander from place to place, city to city, job to job, without ever getting on track or having a sense of di direction. I call it restless spirit. And I've seen a lot of people who are just restless, never seem to find a resting place or place to settle down. Psalm 109 verse 10 says, let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. So it's a possibility, uh, just like uh, it's on the increase with this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, let's say blessing together in Psalm 124 verse 7. Our soul has escaped as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Also in Proverbs 4.18, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines even brighter unto the perfect day. And Psalm 42 verse 6, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Thank you.